where I will share this comparison between wrap and cap on different aspects how to decide when to go with wrap and when to go with cap I'm sure when you started this journey you had some idea you heard about them and you also wanted me to explain the difference but it was not the right time today is the right time so what is the difference between wrap and cap and in what cases you should go with wrap in what cases you should go with cap so based on purely purely my experiences I have outlined some of the important bullet points based on which we can compare wrap and cap and then based on that you can decide when to go with cap and when to go with wrap in addition to that you can also put your comments down in the YouTube video what you feel makes difference between wrap and cap and what was your differentiating factor to choose wrap versus cap or cap versus wrap so let's quickly look at the comparison so first when to use wrap when to use cap so restful application programming model versus cloud application programming model when to use in case you willing to develop simple extensions or full stack application related to s4 ana solution which are above netweaver 752 above platform you can go with wrap so wrap is not just applicable for a BAP on cloud it also works for s4 on a on-premise system it can help you to build extensions also full stack applications but with limited capability of a BAP. you cannot freely use all statements of a BAP. you only allowed to use restricted a BAP in this environment then comes to cap if you want to develop very complex application look at here the word complex application so when it comes to wrap it has to be fairly simple but when it comes to high complex complicated and complex application complex architecture where you get full flexibility full support from framework you go with cap it can help you to build side by side extensions with abundance of features based on open source technologies because you know open source technology offers you both java and node they offer you large variety of open source module using npm or using maven you can also build of course full stack application as well using cap which we will be doing in our sap btp training then where to use you can use wrap in btp or s4 on a 1909 onwards so wrap is available for on premise also then comes to cap cap can be used on btp platform or any other platform as a service deployment even the the capm can be used with amazon if you want to build an application with amazon web services or google cloud platform you want to deploy there you can use the cap there as well it's possible i will also guide you to a video series it's already there on my youtube channel where i showed building a cap application with mongo database and deploying on amazon web services or an amazon platform you can also do that with the cap now coming to the skill set required if you're a developer to build wrap application you should have knowledge on ABAP and ABAP CDS specifically in detail that's when you can go with the wrap for cap you should have a good idea on Java and node.js preferably node.js because today almost over 80% of cap applications are built using node.js because of the ability of node.js asynchronous asynchronous non-blocking IO asynchronous processing and the ecosystem of node.js is quite big pumping to complexity to learn and develop when it comes to building the wrap application it's a medium complexity for a BAP developer but if you're a pure pure ABAP developer hardcore ABAP developer you have a you have to go through a greater learning curve to learn and build cap applications so medium to high depending on your experience level and your ability to adapt to new technology as I worked as an architect in many organization I personally have have basically interest towards technology interest towards learning new things for me initially it was high complexity 
but over a time it become lower and lower day by day provided you put right efforts in right direction and you have this this belief in your mind that yes it is going to help you in your career and your growth it is going to give you the kick start towards the cap coming to approach when it comes to rap we have managed and unmanaged scenarios based on sap provided standard stable api contracts and whitelisted abap statement with event mesh concept to utilize integration with the with the abap environment so in that case you go with the wrap when it comes to cap full stack or side by side application again you can use apis also large open source platform frameworks and libraries using maven and node you can utilize to build your cap application so the biggest usp what i love about cap is the ecosystem the nodes ecosystem is much bigger than abap ecosystem guys because it can gives you millions of reusable modules which you can use to build your applications on top coming to maintenance and development cost this is one important factor to note the wrap based deployments are expensive as compared to the cap so coming to the maintenance cost and development cost if you look at in a longer run the capm is better than wrap because your deployment cost for an abap on cloud environment is much expensive as compared to the the cloud runtime for cloud foundry yes coming to tools to build cap wrap application we use eclipse tools but when it comes to cap application you can use vs code or bash tool i remember one of my student asked me question in the wrap training can i use bash for build wrap no you cannot today you cannot so if you are big fan of bash tool go with the cap up development coming to the latest update from teched 2023 it seems that also they are introducing the new jewel ai basically the gen ai capability that is also go with the cap framework but not with the wrap even bash can also be used of course with the cap framework you can but apart from that there are all the other btp cloud foundry services like destination service connectivity service app router all these things and flexibility to configure your application is much much higher in the cap but in the wrap you do not get that flexibility of development so in a long story short if your requirement is to build a very complex application with btp in a longer run go with the cap but if you have only the abap skill in your company and you go want to go with a simple application with your existing abap knowledge go with the wrap framework so that's a quick comparison between these frameworks what we have i hope you enjoyed this video i hope you enjoyed this session today thank you so much for your time Have a nice day and goodbye